Hey everybody, I just wanted to spend a couple minutes in this first module just, just talking about a path forward for you uh, throughout the rest of the, the rest of the term. Something to make your lives easier, right? To give you just some sense of what you're going to be doing and how to start the right way now. So three or four weeks from now, you're already, your foundation is well established, right? So it's maybe four or five minute video. Um, not critical for you to watch it, pay attention to it right now when you first see the announcement, but but do do review it before the end of the week. All right, so again, this is the, the first day of uh, module one. All right, so this week, you're just gonna choose the company that is on the list that Snooze provided. And as I had in my in the announcement, I want you to I want you to place this company in one of these categories, either mile or snow's category, or one of these three, again, it's listed in the announcement cost leader, differentiator, or specialization. Because once you do that, that's gonna inform the rest of the rest of the, uh, the next nine or 10 weeks. Once you have that established, everything else will kind of fall into place. Um, and by the way, feel free to do this with the company you work at now, just as a, just as a, a, a matter of practice, right? And then you are just gonna make up a reason why growth is needed, right? So in this, in this scenario, I'm the VP. I've called you to my office and said, you know, I need you to develop a growth scenario, but I haven't told you why, which is one of the, right, we really need you, you really need to know why are we trying to grow? And you're just gonna make this up, right? Are you either growing in one of these two categories? Are you growing because there's some reason to grow profits or you're defending profits, um, right? So, and. And either of these cases could fall into your environmental or, for example, share price. So perhaps if, if you're a defender, it could simply be that you are um, limited to a certain geographic area and your, one of your major customers is, is closing and you need to find a source of new profits because your profits are going to decline. So kind of think of growth, growing or defending. And once you have that, that's going to give you why, that's going to give you the direction are your strategic choice, right? So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna assess or deliberate whether or not I agree that the category you picked truly coincides with the company you picked. I'm not even gonna go down that. Just just tell me what you picked. I'm not gonna go down that. I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole. Equally, I'm not gonna really defend a whole lot. I'm not gonna really assess a whole lot whether I agree whether you're a defender or a, or a profit grower. I might read it. You know, obviously, um, you know, Tesla is not defending profits, right? Tesla's growing. So I might take a quick look at the company you picked and decide whether it makes sense that it fits in the categories, but I'm not gonna take a, I'm not gonna look at it very critically. Um, you know, so if you're growing profits, it could be because you're, you're, you're the C, you know, the CEO has told the, the VP that the share price has been declined for a long time and, and the board of directors is unhappy with the CEO and they might fire. Just, just, just make it up, right? And then that's gonna give you the strategic director, direction, right? The why, is, with the why developed and explained, make sure you explain it, because you're not just explaining it to me or explaining it to yourself. This is gonna inform your strategy. So an example of the statement I, I might write is, our profits are derived from a local market which is in decline because the manufacturer have closed. We predict that our, our future profits will decline by 20%. So in that case, I would say I'm a defender, I'm a defending profits, and then my strategy is gonna follow that. So in that case, I might say my strategy to defend our profits will be to acquire new customers outside our historical geography. And then there's the how, that's the tactic. All right, so then I would have to decide, we will do this by, and that's tactics. So don't forget there's a difference, difference between strategy and tactics. Strategy is what you're gonna do, which is, which is kind of led by the why, and then tactics is how you're gonna do it. Um, and these final two blocks are really gonna be what, what you're gonna be working on in the, next, in, the, in the next nine weeks after this week is over. Other than that, this is just a short video. I just wanted to give you some sense of, of what the path forward looked like to make your lives easier. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you send me an email. Um, other than that, upward and onward. Thanks for the time.